Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to highlight points in time uh, using a sample data. And uh, uh, in this video, I will also be covering these three points here. Um, I will be creating a combo chart using line and column. And I will be using a if and match formula. And I will show you how to get the percentages from year on year growth. So let's get started with the video. So here I have a sample data uh, for the years from 2002 to 2020 and these are the sales uh, values for the all for all these years and these percentages are nothing but the year on year growth percentages and these are the uh, columns uh, from which we will be creating this uh, chart here this combo chart here so I will be explaining everything from scratch so stay tuned to the video the main uh, uh, criteria or agenda for creating this kind of chart so why we have created this chart is to get to highlight the to highlight those uh, years where the percentages is below, is below 5% so for example uh, let me make it uh, minus 5% and you can see excel is highlighting those uh, uh, years where the uh, year on year growth uh, percentage is below minus 5% and here also you can see the values are getting changed simultaneously so if I make it to 10% so, so observe the column column values and also the column chart here so you can see the values have been changing here right so Excel is highlighting those uh, years with the percentages uh, of year on year growth is below 10% so here you can you can even test that uh, value if it is correct or wrong. So 2002 we had minus 17% which is below 10% and minus 21% in 2005. Right. So that is how that is how, how we can use make use of this uh, chart here. So let's see how we can create this kind of chart. So let's get started. So here I am using the same data. So now let us uh, calculate year on year growth here so let me yeah so the year on year growth uh, how, how can we calculate the year on year growth is uh, we need to uh, divide the current year sales with the previous year sales right so that is how we can uh, calculate the year on year growth so is equal to the current year sales divided by the previous year sales minus so why i am using why i am not uh, starting the uh, formula from here because we don't have any uh, because this is the starting uh, year right we don't have 1999 uh, sales values here right so that is why we are starting the formula from here so that we can divide this sales with this sales value right so that is the only reason and now if i drag this uh, formula till down we will get the percentages for remaining other years here right so that is how we calculate the year on year growth percentages now the next thing is to uh, create now the next thing is to write down the if and max formula to highlight the uh, values based on this number here so whatever the number that is um, percentages that is displayed here will be uh, uh, correlated to the formula which we are writing here right so let us uh, start with the if formula is equal to if so we will link this formula with this uh, uh, value here this cell here right so if logical test so here the logical test will be this one only whatever the formula which we wrote here to get the percentage that will be our logical test so once again let us write the formula so uh, the current year sales minus the previous year sales uh, sorry the current year sales divided by the previous year sales minus one and less than five percent should be constant here so this will be constant and comma and now we, not, we need to write the max formula so 
open the bracket and uh, here we need to select the red power CH values and before closing the bracket uh, we need to sorry we need to make this constant here so so that values won't get shift down and next will be plus 100 so why are we adding plus 100 because we want to show the column uh, the column line so the uh, we want to make make sure the column bar is above the line chart so that is why we will be adding plus 100 to the uh, uh, the highest number of sales here so whatever the highest number of sales here is 4021 right so we will be adding plus 100 for that and comma and value if false will be empty so so we need to enter double quotation because uh, if the value is false we want it to, we want it to be only empty and close the bracket and hit enter and now we can drag this value still down and now you can see we got uh, excel has highlighted those years where the value uh, of year on year growth is below 5 percent so wherever the uh, percentage is below 5 percent then those areas will get highlighted here right so now using this uh, data uh, we will be creating the chart here so we will be creating this chart here right so let us start so the first step is to create a line chart so to create a line chart we will be uh, using the sales values here right so select the sales value here go to insert click on line and select the line chart now we created the line chart now the next thing is to incorporate this years into the line chart so right so we need to incorporate this years values into the chart here so to incorporate this years when what you need to do is you need to uh, click on this and right click and select data so here you can see the horizontal labels are in numbers but we want to uh, convert this numbers into years right so to convert this numbers into years you need to click on edit and here you need to select the labels so years labels you need to select it and click on ok and now you can see the below on the chart the numbers have been changed to years, years right right now the next thing is to incorporate the column uh, values in the chart here right so to do that you need to click on add and after adding you need to select the series name as columns and here series values will be the column so that you need to select the entire column here and after that click on ok and once again click on ok but you can see we got another line chart here so what to change to convert this line chart into column chart what you can do is you need to click uh, right click on the chart and select change chart type. so in the change chart type click on the combo chart option and here the series one is nothing but the sales value so whatever the blue line which we are seeing is the line chart so we need to convert this clustered column into a line right and the column uh, this should be converted into a column chart so currently it is line we need to convert into a column chart click on ok and now you can see uh, we got the chart here we we created a combo chart using line and column charts right now let us test this chart and see if the values are getting highlighted based on the percentage given here so currently it is 5 percent so let us make it uh, minus three percent right now we can say let us test this so whatever the values that are percentages that are below minus three percent those uh, years are getting highlighted so 2002 is less than minus three percent minus 17 percent and 2005 again uh, less than minus three percent and 2009 which is minus 3% 2011 minus 17% and now let us change it to some something positive value 
15 percent and now you can see more uh, highlights have been created here right because we changed the percentage value to 15 percent and we got few more highlights here right and now if i change it to let's say eight percent and the values have been few highlights have been removed here right so that is how you can uh, calculate this percentages here so you can highlight the percentages so it is the chart is completely dynamic because we have written if and max formula and linked the formula with this uh, cell here right so that is why we are getting this uh, percentages here so you can test it as per your uh, requirement and you will get the values and excel will highlight those those values <clears throat> and if i let's say it is one percent then you can see only this uh, years have been highlighted right so that is how we can also uh, <clears throat> Year growth. So that is how you can create or highlight uh, the points in time based on the percentages values here. So <clears throat> I hope you understood the process of creating this. So first what we did is we created the percentages. So here uh, it is not mandatory to use to create this uh, percentage values even if you delete this percentages. Uh, you can uh, still uh, use this chart so if i remove this percentage value still you can use this chart right because we are already using the percentage values here year on year growth percentage we are already using this in the if formula right so there is no need of uh, using it once again so that is why i removed that so uh, using the if and max formula we are uh, we were able to create this kind of dynamic chart where the uh, uh, points will be highlighted based on the percentage mentioned here right so i hope you understood the uh, process and uh, i hope you understood the formula as well uh, if you have any questions regarding this topic please uh, put it them in the comment section i will answer them and if you find the uh, video to be informative and useful to you then please uh, consider subscribing to my channel so that i can make uh, much more interesting videos on excel thank you